Good morning Vietnam and welcome to vlog 20 and welcome to Saigon S -s -s Saigon S -s -s Saigon v -v -v Vietnam um, I am in Saigon Ho Chi Minh City here in Vietnam I'm here for one week I left Cambodia my time there was finished and uh, now I'm here I've had a good look around the city already, so I'm going to show you a little bit of what I've seen and what I've been doing. Um, I've had a look around this great, cool, massive market, Ben Than or Ben Tan Market, uh, just across the city, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to show you around a little bit of that. Um, I got a tattoo done uh, somewhere down here on my leg. Um, what is it? You're going to have to just watch this vlog to see what that is. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to take you around a bit of Saigon. So. This is just my week. There's so much to see here and so much you can do. You can spend weeks and weeks and there's really something I think which would appeal to everyone. Um, so of course I can't see all of this in one week. Uh, so this is just a quick snapshot of my week in Saigon. Hope you guys enjoy. And now you've got yourself something funky. <laughs> Hi guys, um, I've just taken a walk around the local area, managed to grab myself a coffee, change my US dollar into a Vietnamese dong, and also uh, get a SIM card to get some internet on my phone, which is kind of helpful for like maps and not getting lost and all that kind of stuff. So I'm about to go up the street, take a right, and head down towards one of the city's biggest markets here. So it's a pretty major market for the entire city. Um, if you watched any of my earlier vlogs, you would have seen that I'm quite a fan of markets. I think it's a great place to understand the city and understand the locals and what kind of stuff they buy and you know, I can always buy a new hat, you know? So let's go check that out and see if you like it. Okay guys, so we're now in the Ben Tan Market here in uh, Saigon. Um, as you can see, it's pretty big and pretty crazy. Um, I'm gonna take you for a little walk around, but it's got the kind of usual tourist stuff like local tourist t-shirts, you know, leather belts, bags, fake North Face stuff, you know, fake branded stuff, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's got a lot of kind of cool food stuff though. And rather than just being like just noodles or just the pho and all that kind of stuff, it has some dried fruit as well. Um, and a lot of different kind of quite interesting foods. So I'm gonna take a look around that and see what I can find. Um, and it's got some beautiful like kind of local Vietnamese type lanterns and uh, wind chimes and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of for the tourists but at the same time, it's still beautiful. So I'm gonna take you around and have a look. So if you guys watched my vlogs before, you would have seen that Titanic kind of follows me everywhere. Now in Vietnam, it's uh, kind of popular to sell model ships, but like tool ships, you know, with big sails and that kind of thing. Now just looking at some right now, and what do I see? That's right guys, the Titanic, that's what I see. Okay guys, so I'm finished with the market for today. Um, I didn't really buy much. I bought one t-shirt because, well I'm a nightmare and I have too many already. Um, but I'll just give one away and then I can have this new one. Um, so right now, I'm kind of finished for today and I'm gonna go get some food and then head back to the apartment and do a little bit of work. So uh, let's snap straight into tomorrow. Okay guys, so I'm just on my way to go and meet Hang to get tattooed. Um, should be there in about 20 minutes. I'll try and film a like, little bit of it to show you guys. And then uh, take it from there. Ho Chi Minh, what, what makes Ho Chi Minh special or different from other places? Um, I think the most modern city is Ho Chi Minh City and it also has more population than the other city. So a lot of people in a tiny place. <laughs> a lot of people come here for job opportunity. Uh, people from the countryside too and sometimes you got no job, but people choose to stick around, you know, to find their chains. So I decided to get the Phnom Penh Independence Monument tattooed on me. 
Um, when I first started this journey back in uh, summer of um, 2017, I had the Empire State Building tattooed, um, which was to mark the beginning of my journey, which was beginning in New York City. Um, and out of everywhere in Cambodia, basically Phnom Penh kind of was the place that really stole my heart. And so I decided to get the Independence Monument tattooed on me to make sure it kind of travels with me and it means something. Um, and funnily enough, I just thought I'll just do this little link now to explain a bit about why I had that tattooed. Um, and as I did, I just passed the Cambodian Embassy with a picture of the Independence Monument. So how's that for some serendipity? <laughs> Okay guys, so here is a quick uh, room tour of my apartment here in Saigon. So it's a huge room. There's the bed, obviously. Um, it has air conditioning. I've got like a kind of dresser, kind of wardrobe drawers kind of area. Fridge, mirror, a uh, little workstation. I've got an outdoor area right here. I'm gonna show you guys. And I've got some nice views over Saigon. Hi guys. So yesterday I got my tattoo done, which went great. I'm really happy with it. Today, my little mission is I'm gonna go and visit the Russian market, which is about a 10 minute walk from here, um, down by the riverside. So without further ado, let's get my fat butt moving. Okay guys, so it's kind of pretty much just a closed market, um, as you can kind of see. But we'll keep exploring and see what we can kind of find. Okay, this market sucks. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's terrible. Okay guys, so that Russian market really was pretty useless. It's just really average local clothes. It's kind of it, so I get it for like local people, it's great. To visit, it's not really much uh, of interest to kind of walk around. Um, so right now I'm going to go and change my plans and go and visit the War Remnants Museum uh, which is the local Vietnamese kind of war museum. So it's going to be a lot of Vietnamese um, exhibitions about the Vietnam War. I believe it's got some tanks and some military um, vehicles and stuff there so I'm going to go head up there check that out. So let's go. Hey guys, so we made it to the War Remnants Museum, which is like the Vietnamese uh, history museum of the Vietnam War and their military history. So I'm going to take you for a bit of a walk around and uh, see what kind of exhibits and displays they have. It's so hot. <laughs> I wish I could like show you on a vlog how hot it is. So I'm just like sweating. You know when your back sweats? Like my chest is sweating. Um, and yeah, carrying a bag and all this stuff. All right, let's go. You want more? You want to do more? So we're making our Christmas tree. Okay. It is Christmas, that's right, sweetie. And we're, gonna, we're not going to take it out of the box, we'll leave it in the box. 
We'll just put the decorations around the box. Okay. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, wow. So Merry Christmas and a happy... No, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. That's the end of this week's vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching me just run around Saigon for a week. Um, it's not meant to be a representation of everything you can do in Saigon because there's so much to see and do. Um, and I also spend a bit of time working so I can't see and do everything. But I hope you enjoyed my kind of snapshot of what I did this week in Saigon. If anyone ever comes here, just research it. There's so much to see and do for so many different tastes. I think you guys would all love it. Um, so for now, if you want to like, comment or subscribe to this channel, that would be fantastic. If you subscribe, it means you can find out when other videos are going to come out. All that good stuff. And if you like it and comment, you know, like, that's just, <laughs> it's just really nice. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but for now, as they say in Saigon, au revoir.